All right, under this uh, uh, aspect of logarithm, this is the third teaching under logarithm. Um, you can go back to the first and second uh, uh, video tutorials to be able to fill along with this one. Now, we have a question. This particular question that we'll be treating here has combination of multiple lots. Okay, now, well, we have already treated uh, basic definition of logarithm with examples, and then we treated lots of indices, uh, lots of uh, logarithm with examples. You can also visit teachings on indices so that to be very much grounded and not have stress under this aspect of a uh, tutorial of logarithm. Now we have questions here solve without tables. The first question here is logarithm of one two five to base ten all over logarithm of twenty five to base ten. Now, if you watch here closely, you find that we have common log of 10, 10 here. Okay. Now, well, we cannot factor. We may not be able to. We cannot factor out it, uh, the logarithm in this case because we already have division. Now, when we have single logarithm and expect the uh, division of or multiplication of the two numbers, is when we we are having something like maybe minus plus, and then each of them is having their logarithm. Now, in this case, we look for a way to measure that. Uh, uh, we have something in common to uh, divide or to cancel out so that we have something lesser or working the if you look at this there's no way you can work on this thing exactly to remove this logarithm just the numerator and there's no way you can work on this maybe um, having a common base with the logarithm and then if uh, factoring out the power uh, sorry removing the power there is not possible in this case so what we have to do is uh, look for a way to find something in common between these two. So what's that in common? We can get 5 here. We can get 5 here. Because 5 raised to the power 3 will give us 1 to 5. And 5 raised to the power 2 will give us uh, 25. So having done that, we apply power law. Power law implies that the power multiplies the log, which is multiplying the log here. This power also multiplies the log. So we now have log, base, log 5 base 10, log 5 base 10. Now, in this case, this means this is something with 3 times this and 2 times this. So it's something we're saying if we call this an S and call this an S, that means S can cancel S. In other words, log 5 base 10 can cancel log, base, uh, log 5 base 10. So canceling out uh, this, this one canceling out this other one, we have 3 over 2. Now in the other question, we have logarithm of, um, of course, 3 over 2 is something with uh, under, under misfraction. We have how many 2 are in 3? We have 1. Remainder one, so that one will also take this two as division. So now we have logarithm of sixteen raised to the power of three to base four minus logarithm of nine raised to the power of four to base three plus logarithm of ten raised to the power of four to base ten. Now in this case, we also make sure that try to figure out a way of we can, uh, a way of which we can make the base the same. Now, of we, of course, you can find that we can make the base the same here. With the with the uh, make make the base to have the same value with the number here. Of course, sixteen. We can give this. We can have uh, four can be raised to a power to give us sixteen. Three can be raised to a power to give us nine. Ten is already this one is already settled. Now in this case we have four is the power two. Okay, four is the power two will give us sixteen. So that two will multiply this three to give us six, uh, which is this six here. Well, in, in this case, uh, in this example, I first of all factored out the power before uh, doing the other things, which is still no problem. So now, factoring uh, this thread here multiplies the log, which is the power, the power law, okay? The power multiplies the log, then the power multiplies the log, the power multiplies the log. Now, having done that, we have 4, uh, 16 here is 4 is power 2, so that we have the same common base. Of course, you know, the reason why we are trying to make, uh, make sure we have the same uh, number with the base is because we know that logarithm of a number is on base equals to one so that you can just get end up having one 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 okay now in this case we have four raised to the power two it will give us 16 three to the power two will give us nine ten is already okay here now at this point we now have these two factor out again so these two would still factor out this now we now have two multiply three will give us um uh will give us six and two multiply four will give us eight uh, 10, 10 is already okay here. We don't have any other power here. So 4 still maintains. Now that we have logarithm of number to its own base, logarithm of a number to its own base, logarithm of number to its own base, we have, of course, everything here has becomes 1, 1. So we have ten, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Logarithm of 4 to base 4 is 1. Uh, two, 4 times uh, minus 4 times 2 is equal to minus 8. 
logarithm of uh, a number that is on base is equal to 1. 4 comes down, logarithm of number 3 is on base is equal to 1. Now we have 6 times 1 is equal to 6, minus 8 times 1 is equal to minus 8, 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Now 6 minus 8 is equal to minus 2, minus 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2. Okay, that's it for this question. Now look at this other question. Question number 3, 1 over 4 times log uh, p base 5. Logarithm of p raised to the power 1 over 6 base 5 minus 5 log uh, p raised to the power 1 over 2 base 5. Now, in this case, we have, looking at this question now, we find that we can apply, uh, there's no way uh, the logarithm of this, uh, this, this number, this uh, variable here cannot be made the same to be this base. So we cannot have logarithm of a number to some base. In other words, it will be difficult for uh, this uh, log to disappear. Now, since it will be this difficult in that case, that means uh, we look for another alternative. The other alternative is, if you watch it uh, very well, you find out that we have log p base 5, log p base 5, log p base 5. In other words, we can just have a way to factor out log p base 5 from all of them. In, in, the, in that case, all these coefficients has to go away from here. Now, for us to take away these coefficients, these coefficients should go back to the normal uh, position it was before applying the power law of four of three. Of course, this one over four becomes the power of one over uh, becomes the power of p. That's p to the power one over four. This one is still the way it is. This five here becomes the power of uh, of this uh, p. Also, we take it from here and and multiply out the already existing power. Okay. Of course, when a new power comes, it multiplies the already existing power. Okay, we have 1 over 2 of here. All right, so power 5 coming over, we'll multiply this. Now, in this case, we now have uh, 5. We now have log 5, uh, log p base 5, log p base 5, log p base 5. Now, what we have to factor out in this case, if we factor out log p base 5, how, 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 uh, which variable are we going to give this 1 over 4? No. So, in other words, what we're going to factor out is just log 5, so that p will still maintain the power. Okay, P so factoring out the log 5, log 5, log 5 is factored out. We open the bracket. Log P raised to the power 1 over 4, instead of plus, we now have times. Okay, now log log uh, 5 is factored out. We now have P raised to the power 1 over 6. Instead of minus, we have division. Okay, now in whenever we factor out log, the plus change to times, the minus change to division. Now, this one is P raised to the power, of course, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Uh, 5 times 1 over 12 is equal to 5 over 12. Now we don't have uh, log them, we now have to apply the law, okay? Apply from indices. This is indices. Since the bases are the same, we take one of the bases and apply the multiplication law of indices and division law of indices. I said you can go back to other videos under indices, get grounded with indices, know how to uh, master the first tutorial under logarithm, second tutorial under logarithm before coming over to this. This is the thought. Uh, uh, lesson tutorial under this uh, topic logarithm. All right, now we have the uh, p raised to the power one over four because of times we now say plus we add up the power when we have times and for division we subtract power. Okay, all right, this is the um, same thing with the uh, five over 12. Okay, all right, now we, what we have at this point is um, logarithm of p raised to the power, uh, of course. Uh, solving out this, let's say we have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 minus 5 over 12. Okay, now the LCM for all these things is 12. Okay, now over 12. Now 4 into 12 will give us 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 into 12 will give us 2. 2 times 1 is 2. We have plus here. My, my, um, 12 into 12 is 1. And is 1. 1 times minus 5 is minus, minus 5. Okay, so we have 3 plus 5, 3 plus 6 is equal to 5, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0, 0 over 12. That's how we got this 0 over 12, okay? Now, at this point, we have a logarithm of P, of course, 0 over 2 is equal to 0. And we know that anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1 from 0 index law of indices. That's why I say you should visit indices and be grounded first before you go over to logarithm. Okay, we now have logarithm of 1 um, to base 5. And of course, there's another law of logarithm for under special law from the first uh, video that I treated. Uh, I think second video that I treated under logarithm before this one. You have to, you, you, you get to know this. 
log name of one to any base at all is equals to um is equal is equals to zero okay but we are not gonna apply i want us to solve it completely now solving it completely we now say log them of one to base five is equals to x we just assign x to it and from what we treated in the in the other videos we say five will take the take up this s as power okay now equated to one okay now five raised power s equals to now we have to make the base the same so that we cancel out the base and equate power now canceling uh what how can we make the base the same since this is five we know that anything raised to power zero is equal to one so we say five also raised to power zero now we now have since the base are the same now we cancel out the bases and equate the power which is s equals to zero and that's why this law stands that logarithm of one to any base at all is equals to zero so the answer for this question for the answer for this question three is equals to zero all right now the next question is question number four we, where we have logarithm of root 540 plus logarithm of 108 over 5 minus logarithm of root 12 minus logarithm of root 20 27 all over logarithm of 9 plus logarithm 4 okay now don't be frightened about how all this logarithm sign everything is still normal and can be solved even simpler now um we still have logarithm of what i did in this case is uh for these ones that have plus plus i have to solve them separately and solve this one separately this one i have minus okay now the i have to factor out log now factoring out log we have log 540 sorry root 540 instead of plus since we factor out the common log the plus now change to times okay we now have uh, one, uh times 108 over five okay on under root now uh, this other side we have i have to factor out the common thing uh, between this side is minus log minus log so factoring out the minus log i now have um uh, uh, my uh, minus log we have root root uh, two of of course when i factor out this minus it is now becoming plus okay it's now become plus okay that is plus log so since it's now plus i now change this uh, uh this uh, this plus now is changed to division because i factor out this minus what is remaining here is now plus so i now have times so i now have times root root 24 27 sorry okay um don't be confused here factoring out minus and minus what is left here is plus so that plus is treated as what uh, times okay all right now we now have all over you with, with the subsequent uh, videos uh the teachings you'll be able to understand better about this i would have given more one step here but still flow along with me now i have uh, the common thing here is also log now factoring out the log we have nine because of plus we now have times four okay now at this point there's something you have to bear in mind when root multiplies root is the root goes off when root multiplies root the root goes off okay now this this is it for example of course you know that this square root is empty with let's say square root of square root of s is empty with s raised power one over two okay now in this case since it's the same with s raised power one over two when you, when we say root s times root s okay now it's same thing with applying the uh, the uh, multiplication law of indices we take one of the bases and add up the power half plus half is equal to one and it is power one is itself so that means the root will go off remainder what is inside there all right so what we have now is uh, the root here root times root will go off and root times root will go off so what we have left is just the numbers okay so at this point when i have uh, this is just what we have now 504 times 540 times 108 over 5 will give us 1944 1944 now minus 12 times 20, 27 is equal to 324 3, all over um this is 9 times 4 gave us 64 here now under this one we there's something that we can make common here of course that is 6 empty with 6 raised power 2 so factoring out the 2 here i have log 6 left okay now uh factoring out the two we have log six left okay that's for the denominator now for this one here also we have to factor out the log rhythm here again so that we can make it simpler so factoring out the log here we now have one nine four because of minus we say divided by three two four that's three two four here all over these two factor out to have two uh we now have um log six left okay now which implies 
uh, this this divided by this is equal to log six, and this is still all of, uh, over two log six. Now, if you find if you watch here, you find out that log can cancel log to give us one, log cancel out to give us one. So one, uh, two. This is now two times one. So two times one is two, and one. That means we have one over two here as our answer. You can replay the video again so you can get better understanding of what I just uh, treated here. Now at this point, uh, the next question that we have on our list here is question number five, which says log log 